2016 NXL World Cup. The semi-pro final match is about to go down here on center court. And it's PC Katana makes it in against Distortion. So PC Katana has already sealed up the overall series title in the semi-pro division. So they may move up into the pro division should they decide to you know, take on that adventure. I'm Matty Marshall alongside Todd Martinez. You know the word legend gets thrown out around a lot, a little loosely, but the man sitting next to me, Shane Pastana, has earned the right to be called that. Shane, thank you very much for coming up here. We know you're retiring, so I wanted to make sure we got you up here, man, one last time. Hopefully you're still not leaving for good for good. You'll be still coming to the events every now and then. So we're getting back into this match here, getting right into it. First point, PC Katana. They played here on this field on Thursday and looked pretty good. We're good enough, obviously, as they've done really well this year, well enough to earn the series title. And they do lose their first body, though, trying to get some penetration up in that center. Distortion, uh, from what I've seen, or I watched them a little bit yesterday, and it doesn't surprise me. They took both corners off the break. They've been really aggressive running wide, and they did it again here. You know, both teams have been playing solid all weekend from what I saw because the Katana guys I know pretty well. So they kind of had me come over and take a peek. So good stuff. Yeah, nice. And Distortion, definitely no strangers to this high-level competition here, Todd. Yeah, Distortion losing their first body over off that Dorito side out of that can of death that we keep talking about but still have a good spread. They're over there in Dorito 1, the back center, the snake tower, and the snake side corner. But they shoot another body from PC Katana off the snake side over here. So PC Katana over here in the uh, snake side tower crossed up with the Dorito side can. And one body over there in the Dorito 1. Yeah, it's just three bodies left alive right now for PC Katana. And you can see the lineup for Distortion, the four bodies left alive for them. So a one body advantage right now for Distortion. See if they can do something with this high body situation. No offense yet from Distortion. And here we go, moving out of the back corner bunker, Snake side, goes into Snake 1, looks like he's gonna crawl right past that spot here, get into Snake 2, and look cross field. Distortion now needs to keep adding the pressure, they're up a body right here, and it, I think one more guy dies on PC Katana, they're gonna earn this point. It's just a matter if they can keep applying pressure to him. So PC Katana moves over a spot in the center, and now the new line across the field, just because of that move here, up in the Snake side of the field, a little bit more offense, for Distortion as they're moving forward, but the rest of their three players still locked in those back spots, and now PC Katana, desperation run out to the back corner bunker, and he gets taken out, so Shane, there's that kill you were talking about. It's now four on two. Yeah, these are games you gotta close out now. This, this is a, for Distortion, this is a must win point. Just take their time, grind them off the field, and you know, get get the momentum. Here we are in the finals, you win that first point, that's a huge, that huge confidence match. Confidence boots. You, yeah, just get everything, get the confidence going, get the, you know, get the, get the blood flowing. Uh, but PC Katana shooting one body out of the snake. Trying to help stay in this point right here. They're up in Dorito 3, looking across the field and the back center, trying to protect him on the Dorito side. But Distortion again, getting into the snake, now sitting in snake 2, trying to wrap around, see if he can get a kill. Three bodies alive, it's a three on two situation right now. The Dorito side can't. Distortion player in the snake makes his bump up to snake 3. And the Distortion player on the Dorito side moves into the 50 Dorito underneath the gun of the back center. And that's a good move because he's in position to take down the thorn in the side right now for Distortion, which is the PC Katana player in D3 there, top portion of your screen. PC Katana in red and Distortion in the black. PC Katana shooting cross field. He's trying to get a shot on the snake player there. Bottom left hand portion of your screen who's now in snake three. This point has slowed down a little bit because Distortion lost the body. Then you see Kerr trying not to squander this opportunity that was presented for Distortion that they earned here, shooting those bodies early for PC Katana. Chain, like you said, big confidence boost if you can put that first point on the board, especially during a long point. The point win is even more important during long points because one, you have less time, and two, your team just fought really hard for a couple minutes, and if you don't win the point, nothing came of it other than you getting frustrated. Yeah, and they're, and they're, they're in a body situation from the get-go. They shot a guy pretty, fairly early, the, yeah. the PC Katana coming up the middle. I'd really like to see the snake player occur. Now here he goes, he start making the move across the 50 and see if he can get catch the guy across the field in the Dorito or even just keep wrapping and and kind of clip this back center guy and close this game out. Well, Kerr is definitely uh, being, um, you know, he's in a situation where the, the player in D3 really has to worry about just him because he's really exposed. And so the other player over there for Distortion should be able to launch, but he is definitely being 
controlled by that back center bunker, Todd. Yeah, then, I mean, way too long for uh, Distortion to allow these PC Katana guys to stay in this game and play, and it looks like Kerr might have even taken one, but here comes the hammer coming through the middle of the field to go bunker out the last body. And, you know, kind of tough there for that last PC Katana player who couldn't really play because the ref wasn't making a decision on Kerr whether or not he was hit. So we can come around on the inside and take a look. And Distortion used that their advantage to come down the middle and bunker that last body out. So it doesn't have to be pretty. The job just has to get done. Distortion coming up here with the first point of this match. A lot of time came off that clock, too. Ten <laughs> minutes left to go in the game. Two minutes. So two minutes in between these points here as we're no longer in the split deck and the semi-pro final match going down right now. I wonder if PC Katana is going to go pro. You know, I talked to Dan Strickland. I get a chance to talk to him about whether or not they wanted to move up into the pro division. Um, you know, Shane, that was something you did with Royalty not too long ago before Royalty merged with the Ironman and we find ourselves in the position that the team's in now. Uh, but it's really hard to, to go on that adventure. You know, it takes a couple years to move up the ranks and a lot of commitment from all the guys, a lot of time to get to this point where you can get make that decision to move up into the pro division and then things really get crazy. Well, you, you know that jump up to the pro division. It's, it's, it's a bigger jump than some teams think. And some teams have success. Look at Uprising this year. I think they had a really solid year. From year in. one? Yeah. Definitely starting to impress some people. Yeah. No, they're, they're, they're starting to make where you're... The, they're a, a team you have to deal with. They're gonna they're gonna give every match they're in. They're gonna be in it. And you know what? Katana's solid. They're a solid team, and I think they can make the. I love to see them make the bump. I mean, why not? This is what you play for. You keep moving up, and you keep pressing yourself. And you know what? Maybe they take lumps the first year, but you know what? Year two, year three. Hey, here we go. You know, look at AC Dallas. Look where they're at right now. Let's get a look here at our top five fantasy users for my fan wagon, and. And for D3 or Bomb is in first place. And then looks like T Davis 92. And he's, eh, he's not that seconds. far behind. So those are the guys in the running right now for the Shocker for first place. Second place is a $500 gift card to Level Up Sports. And then third place is the Die i5 Goggles. So PC Katana on your screen. These teams have switched sides. And quite the full house still here up in the stands and also quite the cloudy afternoon right now here in Orlando, Florida. The last day of the World Cup, biggest event on earth on the breakout. And it looks like getting kind of losing his gun a little bit, getting shot off the break. First body for PC Katana. So, guys, that's two. Oh, look at this, though. I was going to say two points in a row. The disaster strikes for distortion, major penalty, and they lose some bodies. Three bodies walking off for distortion right now as PC Katana takes the center 50. All that momentum they got out of that first match, that long win point, and then you get a penalty right into the second, right off the break. That's yeah, that's just a, just a big no-no in the final at any time, but especially in the finals. You know, now now Katana's filling the filling the mojo. We blow them off the field. They get, you know, it's this is sports just like the NFL. It's it's a momentum sport. And if you win that quick point, Todd, you steal that momentum right back. Yeah. We watched the team here in the D was it D four finals. They got three penalties, their first three points, and a four point mercy rule. <laughs> you know, it was like, geez, just pull that shotgun out, blow your foot right off real quick, and you know, start trying to battle back from there. Yeah, start running around limping on one foot and see what happens. Yeah, you know, maybe nerves. You know, maybe nerves. Maybe a little pressure got on him. You know, maybe he didn't feel it. But a major off the break is kind of a. It's kind of a no-no, yeah, that's for sure, especially in this situation. So now this next point's huge, you know? Yeah, this next point is definitely huge for, of course, that momentum paintball. Very much a game of momentum here, but it is tied, and there is a bunch of time left. So this could be a very close battle back and forth. We will see. Uh, so Shane, you know, so you're retiring now. Um, we were lucky enough to even have you come back. You've had so many different chapters in your life here in the sport of paintball. Um, going all the way back to when you were the, you know, it's, it's interesting because a lot of people, you know, they don't understand because we've gone through so many generations of the sport, but you used to be the kid back in the day that was out there playing with a bunch of grown men, uh, shooting everybody and, and making a name for yourself back in the Ironman when the Ironman first made their run and became the name that has gone on now for so long. And you only played for the Ironman your entire career. And you had so many different runs. I mean, you had the first run when you, you guys were winning in the early 90s and the mid-90s. Then the team dipped off. Then we had that run in the late uh, 90s and the early 2000s. Then you retired. And then you came back to coach, won championships there, and then brought the royalty boys up 
to make it to pro, joined with the Ironman, and now here you're getting your last season and playing, man. So it's been an honor to see you this entire time, and you've been a big hero of mine for my whole career, you know. So I, we were just very blessed to have you around for all well, these years. It's been a great run. It really has. It's been, um, I mean, my whole adult life. I've been on the Ironman. I've been part of the franchise one way or another, and a lot of great friends, a lot of, you know, great memories, and, you know, I, I love this sport, and I love what it's all about, and, and it's that brotherhood that brings you back, and, and, and then I'm sure one way or another you guys will drag me back here somehow. I don't know about, <laughs> I don't know about playing out there anymore. It's a little rough, but... Uh, Big games. It, it, oh, Big games. that's for sure. That's for sure. I'm all about that, so, but no, it's uh, it's been a great run. I've had a, I've been blessed with a, a, a lot of good opportunities, and I felt like I capitalized them on the right situation, so it's been... It's definitely been fun. You definitely passed the test, my friend, <laughs> multiple times. Yeah, I don't, sometimes. <laughs> and see Torshin losing a body off the snake side on the break. Make that two bodies trying to fill out there again. Does he get through the gun of the wall? Yes, he does. So able to get somebody out over here on the snake side. With PC Katana on the attack up in the middle. Looks like Colin Cherry again sitting up there. He takes a bouncer off the goggles. I think that might have came off the pin. But he's alive. Asked for another check. Referee calls him clean again. He's going to go back up to that wall, start pumping through the windows. And on your screen, there is the lineup for PC Katana. Staggered as we move up the field with some good ground. And bodies coming off for distortion here. And they need to blow that horn, and they do, to concede the point, keep the time on the clock. So, you know, you were right. PC Katana stealing the momentum back here. Yeah, and Distortion has another minor penalty right there to, to close the game out. And, it, and, you know, sometimes when you get out there, the wheels start spinning and seem like a little fast. They need to go back in there and just take a deep breath, hit a, hit a little bit of water, say, hey, guys, we got this. We got this far by playing as a team and, and not panicking. And they can't, they, these penalties are definitely, definitely unacceptable in this situation. Yeah, two points in a row, a penalty has cost them after coming out really solid, being all the way up the field, breaking that game down slow. Two penalties in a row right here is giving key, uh, PC Katana the lead. Yeah, and uh, you know, PC Katana, a lot of the names that we see on here, Logan Landry, Mike Zupa, Evan Manners, uh, we've seen these guys on Colin Cherry. Uh, that was pretty much CEP's lineup for a while. And so, I don't know if they, did they take a couple years off before they came back? Because CP, I think it was like three years ago, um, they're starting to get better and then went back to real life, but now a bunch of the guys are back in the mix and they could make that, again, another chapter in the professional division. And it's interesting, a lot of guys, there's so many of those stories. One of them for this event was Jesse Stevens on uh, AC Dallas. He finally was able to bump back up and make a pro squad and he got the start on the snake side of the field. And, um, you know, I thought he was a little hit or miss, but he had some good points. But that's the thing, if, you, if, you, if it's in you and you're willing to embrace the challenge, there's a lot of cool things you can do out here, and like you said, have that adventure and the brotherhood with your guys and the, and the travel. There's just so many awesome things that that a paintball life brings you. Yeah, it's it's what we do. I had a good friends all through this, and we all kind of say the same thing. It's this is what we do, and it's you know I have friends that don't do paintball, and they have no clue what we experience, and it's hard to explain to them. But you know what? That's it's our life. It really is. It's, yeah, I it mean, is a great adventure. That is for sure. Yes. Looking back when you were out there, you know, playing with no face mask, auto cockers <laughs> back in the woods and, you know, playing against the, like, crazy construction workers and all the brutal dudes that played back in the day when you were, like, 15 years old. Did you think, you know, you'd be here now still involved as much as you are? Had no clue. I mean, had no I was just out trying to shoot people and saying, yeah, that was fun. That was kind of cool. That was fun. I had no clue. Honestly, I had no clue what tournament paintball was until my first event and went out there and we just smashed people. Like, oh, this is pretty fun. Yeah. You know, so it's just, you know, it is definitely a great adventure, that's for sure. So it looks like continuing to struggle here as Distortion loses a body, but I think they were able to shoot a body and the crowd goes wild over there for it looks like a battle in that center. And it's Distortion that wins it this time. A battle in the center, so they own that bunker. And it looks like a penalty now assessed, so there goes the momentum for PC Katana as Distortion should be able to cruise through here and shoot the last player left alive, the last two players left alive for PC Katana. You can see the lineup on your screen there, Distortion. Yeah, the penalty, penalty bug biting PC Katana now, allowing Distortion to get up the field. As you see Scotty Graham over there in Dorito 3. 
And Distortion making a move through the middle of the field, coming to get that Dorito side can. Looking at the corner with the wrap. They get one, just one left. Here comes the move. And they're probably going to trade out. Yeah, it looked like they trade out. And Distortion grabbing that one right back. So three points in a row. We've seen a penalty help determine the outcome of these points. And with seven minutes left, we're going to have a tie ball game here between Distortion and PC Katana in this semi-pro X-Ball. Two minutes. Yeah, so saw one of the Bargas in on that last point for Distortion. And a, a different game here as Distortion has now tied this game up. So we've seen a lot of close games here on this field and also interesting to see as the tournament's developed how this layout, every, every tournament, new layout, new strategy, it's a different type of chess match out there. And I really think that it's, it's proven now as we've seen you know, and can't wait to see who's going to win between Impact and Russian Legion. The best teams out here were able to master aggression on this snake side of the field and have a constant presence on that D side. And then also starting to develop a little bit more in that center too before not everybody going up there quite as often as before. But one of the reasons the Russian Legion is in the finals is because Colombo was just murdering people up in that center of the field with an incredibly high kill count. Looking in the pits right now for distortion. You see the momentum swing again, swings back. I'd really like to see this next point where there's no penalties and see the Let's see the best team win this. this and this next two couple points is going to be this match. And you know, let's try to have a clean match between these two clean, clean points this next couple, and we'll see what we're, who truly is the best team here for World Cup. Yeah, you can't really tell who the real best team is if there's tons of penalties out there because. Obviously, the team that's not getting as many penalties is going to have a huge advantage. And, Todd, we've seen a ton of penalties here in these divisional games. Yeah. I mean, wow. <laughs> a lot more than you'd expect here. You know, I mean, we've we've watched excuse me, a lot of these uh, divisional finals games, you know, over the past years. And some games are so good. Some games, it's just so just heartbreaking to watch a team fight all the way to get to this game and then just get riddled with penalties in the finals and lose. So, you know, we don't want to see that. We want to see these teams fight it out. The best team win, but, you know, sometimes we get uh, divisional finals and they're the best games of the event because these teams are just going back and forth fighting. But with all the penalties we've seen, we have really haven't seen any crazy two, three pack run throughs. It's been mostly conservative exactly. play and penalties and gunfights lost. And now yeah. PC Katana losing two bodies off the break. Clean too. Just two guys getting shot, no penalty there. And then they're going to lose another one. So here comes Distortion. So Shane, we get our wish. No penalties in this game or in this particular point so far. And it looks like Distortion getting the better of PC Katana. Just two players left alive for PC Katana. The distortion guys off the break, you know, shoot two, and the guy going up to the wall, I don't know if I've seen that all week, and he's done it two points in a row. He's jumped over the top and shot the guy right in the head. I mean, we've only seen that once or twice uh, at all with every team and every game and every point we've seen out here. So yeah. the fact that he's done it yeah, twice. Yeah, it's impressive. It's impressive. I, I can't even see over the top of the wall. I don't know what, he, what oh. he's doing over there. So PC Katana gets a minor penalty to clear out the last two bodies, and that's going to be a pretty easy one here for Distortion. Distortion with the uh, with all the bodies that have come off. Not sure of the count. Well, it does get a little confusing when you shoot three guys in <laughs> under five seconds. You know, so yeah. great, great, great breakout for Distortion. I don't think the penalty actually changed anything in the match. I think they would have won the point no no matter what because they had five guys alive on two. But um, you know what? This is why it's World Cup, right? This is the finals. This is what you you have to win those breakouts and you have to win those gunfights. And you know, to see how PC Katana answers it. Do they go short to try to protect their bodies, or do they risk it? And maybe run wide on one side, or you know, they seem like they've been pretty aggressive, making these big bumps. Yeah, and you can see this replay here of that battle in the center. And distortion on your left hand side. He's about to come up with the top, and is able to kind of just. Just throw his shoulders up a little bit to get that extra inch or two, that little tiny jump, and he's able to get that kill. So 
Well, we've definitely seen Shane, and one of the reasons the Ironman struggled this weekend is because you guys had no offense on the D side and an inconsistent offense on, uh, I'm sorry, no offense on the snake side and an inconsistent uh, offense on the D side. You have to have offense on this field. You have to have guys that are constantly getting up there and the best teams, that's why I can't wait to see Impact play the Russians because both of those teams are really dialed in right now. Their ones are playing phenomenal here at this event getting into those spots, not dying often very much, playing clean, not getting that many penalties, and getting tons of kills. Yeah, this this field you can attack on either side, but it, you gotta have, you can also slow them down on either side. So when those windows open up, you have to capitalize on them. I think that was, you know, and I'm sure Todd would definitely agree that a lot of our issues or inconsistencies this weekend for us was when the opportunity arose, we didn't capitalize on it, or we did it in a sloppy way and got clipped out of our bunker, and it was just, you know, it's just made it inconsistent play. I watch Impact out here, and they just seem like they're uh, on a mission. I mean, they just been, we practiced them two weeks ago, and they crushed us. Well, we, yeah, we, Todd was telling me about this, and we were having this discussion, too, uh, where, well, actually, let's check in with Lauren real quick, and then we'll, we have some time to talk about that. Lauren, what do you got for us? Hey guys, Logan Landry came off the field in that one into the Katana pit saying he doesn't even know what they're doing right now. This isn't a Katana game. They're not playing like they usually do. They need to slow these matches down and start making some smarter moves so they can get this win and play the Katana game that they're used to. Back to you. Well, and that tells me distortion's starting to get in their heads. Yeah, makes total sense. Makes total sense, you know. To take, like I said, take a deep breath. They hear, you know, let's, let's do what we do and been doing all weekend. So on the breakout, it looks like, but now Katana throws some bodies away here with the penalty. No one on the snake side for them. So just continuing to struggle, that's not gonna help with what Landry was talking about, you know. We, he doesn't know exactly what they're doing out there. And now you're gonna have another throwaway point. So they're gonna be saying the same thing when they get back in the pits over here. Yeah, well, Logan Landry's that back center guy right there on your screen. He's the guy that's gotta deal with it when all the penalties start happening. He ends up in the back center by himself. Well, and Todd, their back corner bunker, his hopper's off his gun, and he's using, he's just a single loading pod, or single loading paintballs using a pod as a loader. Yeah, sitting in musket mode over there on the Dorito <laughs> side corner is got not his, gonna help Logan Landry either. He's got his old Kentucky black, mus <laughs> black powder musket over there. And then he tries, there he finally puts his loader back on, but not before his team loses the point. So distortion now with a two point lead with four minutes and 46 seconds left to go. Penalties penalties every every point that's been kind of honestly been the kind of the flow of this match the, the team that doesn't get the penalty has won the point yeah absolutely yeah absolutely and so distortion just playing a little bit cleaner than pc katana and a little bit better logan landry new game plan we run out to our spots and we wait for them to get a penalty because <laughs> if we don't get one they're gonna get one <laughs> uh, Good game plan. Let's make let's make it happen. Team on three. Yeah, break. So we're in the pits right now. Let's listen in here, PC Katana. Hey, who are the five? What's up? Snake side and rust that pitch clean. Here's the five guys. Listen up. I've got Logan. There's Dan Strickland, owner of the team, talking right now. Hey, no more stupid fucking penalties. Get your hands in the air. <laughs> Logan Landry scolding everybody about the penalties because he didn't want to be stuck in the back bunker looking at five guns. Yeah, we, well, we know how that feels as his back guys. It's not a very fun spot to be in. <laughs> oh, it's not. And that back bunker gets really small in a hurry. Yeah, I've definitely given some penalty-ridden front players ear beatings over the years for dying in front of us and then getting a bunch of us pulled out to leave us to fight against a bunch of guns. But it seemed like, you know what, honestly, what they were talking about, they were talking shop. They seemed like they were calm. So, you know, this is a... Uh, it didn't seem like there was panic there. So it Which shows you... a good sign. Exactly. It shows that how much they have progressed over as a family and as a team. And this game's not out of hand yet. It's no. a two-point spread with... I can't remember exactly how much time is left. Ten so seconds. two minutes, I think, I'm, uh, what have we got, three minutes left, four minutes, right around there. But enough time for them to score two points. Yeah, four, four and a half, four, yeah. four, 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 seven. Plenty of time. Plenty of time left. But it comes down to this point right here, and then you get that three-point spread if they rail off another minute, 45 seconds here, and lose another point. It's going to be tough for PC Katana to fight back. And it looks like another disastrous break for PC Katana. Two bodies walking off right at the start of that point. Oh, and Colin Cherry. 
sees the pressure coming from one side of the wall, so he tries to go around the other side. They both go at the same time and get roasted by the opposite team. Scott Graham also gets shot off that Dorito side after shooting his wire clean. So Varga gonna fill out from the back center to that Dorito side can. As not many PC Katana bodies left alive. I think just those two there you're gonna see on your screen moving to the back center and that snake side corner. And able to get all the way out. Logan Landry's gonna get into that Dorito one. Great bump, great bump. Spread the field, it's three on two. You know, the thing is, it's just Sorshin, they, doesn't, they don't do any, need to do anything. And, and oh. actually, it was smart on PC Katana to blow the, the to concede the point. That's a tough call, too, is that you guys have coached for a long time. And how tough is it to have to hit that buzzer knowing you're conceding that third point? There's not a lot of time, but you really don't have any other choice. So it's just a really frustrating thing to constantly have to deal with now if you're PC Katana. You, you, you know, you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. Yeah. You know, you, you're like, man, we're going to use that time. To, you know, and then the two guys are out there. I'm like, we got this. We got these guys. You know, so it's. I think the right move was to blow the whistle there because yeah. distortion wasn't going anywhere. Well, and it's that the razor's edge of wanting to have faith in your guys and give them that support, but also not wanting to make a bad coaching decision that ultimately, though, may not be popular, is going to put you guys in a worse case scenario. Not worse case, but a in a, in a worse situation. You know, than, than if you than if you do it the opposite way. It's but that's that that's the tough part of coaching, and that's why it's good to have a good coach in there that make to make those calls the right way. Here, still in the pits, there's Thomas. Taylor from Infamous. Not sure if he's helping PC Katana. Okay, so he's definitely in the pits. Yeah, he is. He's talking to him. So I don't know if he's just hanging out or out helping coach, but it looks like he is helping coach him. Well, it's good to have Thomas as a presence in there to try to keep him calm, keep him focused on the task at hand. As far as coaches' mistakes, God knows I've made enough of them, but the guy to, to my right here, he, he did pretty well this weekend on making mistakes. I, other than maybe playing me too many times out there, but other than that, he he he, he, did, he had a good weekend. It was a very solid uh, coaching. Uh, I appreciate you know, that. Well, it know, was always a fun time, man. Yeah. Yeah, it was. You did good, bud. You did good. That's for sure. I appreciate it. If you would have strapped on the the gun and the loader and went out there with us and maybe <laughs> shot a couple more guys, maybe we'd be playing today on Sunday. You know, I mean, you know, oh, we'll man. drive you back out there eventually. Well, yeah, it's right. tough because you guys went two and two. Yeah. And Dynasty made it in at two and two, but they were in a different division. So yeah. that's always kind of tough to pill swallow too when you're in that situation where you went. You have the same record as another team. The other team makes it on and you don't. But they happen to be in the division where that works, and for your division it doesn't. Yeah. Well, all of our uh, all the teams in our bracket won their out of bracket game to start. You know, Dynasty X Factor was one, uh, and I think I can't remember who uh, AC Dallas ended up beating uh, in their first game in their out of bracket game. And so, you know, our bracket was tough right off the bat. You know, we basically had to beat AC Dallas yesterday to get in, and you know, just weren't able to pull that one out. Yeah, so. I, I don't, you can't say our bracket was tough at this event. Our bracket's been tough at tough this whole season yeah you know, oh, AC maybe, maybe our fault in most of them but it's definitely been a tough year yeah ac dallas's out of bracket game was boom <clears throat> so it made it a little rough yeah you know, that's, made it but, hard on us but, you know two and two I, we don't win our bracket or we don't come out top two we don't deserve to play you know i mean that's the way i look at it we got to beat ac dallas we beat ac dallas yeah. we're, we played today i mean that was the game that's, that's just the way it is i mean you know you can't just back your way in you know dynasty got a break that hey you know, it all comes full circle. Good for them. Yeah. You know, next year the Ironman will catch a break on one of those situations. But you got to win your bracket. You can't can't look for excuses. To yeah, it was like I think it was uh, the Texas event where a couple teams made it in at one and three. Yeah, so you that's just, rough. Yeah, and you, but you yeah. just never know what's going to happen out there. So yeah. back into this match, and now a three-point lead here for Distortion up over PC Katana. And PC Katana continuing to have survivability problems off the break because Distortion is just lasering balls cross field here. And getting those kills, and there goes another one. Yeah, that snake player for PC Katana is just having trouble getting out to that snake insert bunker. Just point after point, he's the first guy that's walking off the field. But PC Katana now up at the center trying to match up with Distortion. Looking like he wants to come around. Thought about it, but then saw the snake. Here comes the move around. He's going to get murked. And then running all the way through as he just opened the door for his teammates to go book it down the field. Baldwin over here in the snake for distortion crawls into snake three, but he's got the whole thing. He can just go all the way down. We've seen this a lot today with all these divisional teams. They get into that snake three and they sit there when 
The window is open to go all the way down the snake, but not really having to go anywhere. PC Katana once again concedes the point, and Distortion may making an even bigger lead now. Four points with 241 left to go. I think a five point uh, mercy rule uh, is in effect over here as well. So it's got to be nothing but points here for PC Katana. Yeah, it is a five point mercy rule here in the semi pro division. So this is it. Backs completely to the wall. They're the body language right here in PC Katana doesn't look healthy. They need, they need to, they need to, this game's not over. It's World Cup. They got to keep fighting. They, they, you can see that there's a little bit of the shoulder slump and not talking and not the fight. They really need to come out and win a breakout. They need to survive the breakout and shoot a guy and hopefully they can swing the momentum back. Well, let's check in with Lauren to give us an update on uh, PC Katana. Hey guys, yeah, I was in the Katana pits. It's getting pretty intense in there, as you may be seeing. Colson was saying that when they go short on the snake and they push on the Dorito side, they should be able to get those wins. Uh, but Laser came off the field saying that he keeps getting called out without getting hit. So I don't know if you guys can replay that and see if he was hit, but he has said multiple times now that that is the problem going on. Landry just said they're never going to win playing three on five, so they need to stay alive and try to get some points here. Back to you. If I had a dime for every time a guy has told me that he's getting called out without getting hit, 30 seconds. I'd be uh, a rich, rich man. <laughs> this weekend, you would have had the fattest sack of dimes you've ever seen <laughs> in your life. If you were anywhere near seconds. our pit, man, I just, people were walking in just dumping dimes in the pit. You know, just like, here you go. More dimes for you, Maddie. I mean, I'm not saying it never happens, but I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go up and guess that the amount of times that guys say that, it's probably maybe like 10% of the time they actually weren't hit. The other 90% of the time, they were definitely hit. Oh, they, absolutely. They may yeah. have just not known where they were hit or they've hit it. You know, because if a ball hits you and it breaks as it comes off and the ref still saw it, you're still going to get pulled out. Yeah. It may not know, leave a ton ball. of pain. It's yeah, it's paintball. Yeah. You know. On the breakout. Decent break for PC Katana, able to keep some bodies alive here and get some ground up in the center. They're also in the snake. They don't have a lot of time to work with. Four point spread here, 2.15 to go. Battle developing in the center. And here's the line for distortion. They're just rolling those guns and try to seal up this World Cup victory here. So PC Katana, they are our series champs in the semi-pro division as the SAC DMG game, Sacramento DMG in the semifinals was the game that decided the series title. But I'll tell you what, it's really frustrating to go out and win a series title and still lose the World Cup in the finals. It's a great move, though, down the D side for PC Katana to try to put the third point on the board, make it a three-point spread with a minute and 48 seconds left. So the point's good. So now PC Katana needs to go out back in that pit and come up with an, oh, one of their players is limping off real bad. I can't see who that is, but... Man, I don't know if he's going to be able, be able to make it out for the next point. Evan Manners made a great move down the Dorito side. He capitalized on a couple of G's that so came out of the middle of the field. You can see this on your screen here. Can't see who this is for PC Katana, but he is struggling as he's limping off. They have a pretty deep roster, so definitely some more fresh legs to get out there for him. But when you're in the finals, you're running your studs out there, man. You want your starting five on this field, especially if you need to score three points. So if they don't come out with an aggressive, if they just come out with that standard, let's just play some paintball, they might as well just concede this game and just yeah. hand the trophy to Distortion. They have to come out aggressive game plan. And you recklessly have to push forward to try to win those three points. There's really no other option for them at this particular juncture in this game. Well, at that time, they took a while off the break. And, and I, I believe he came around and wrapped around and shot the back center guy and then traded out with the wall. That's two, that's two kills. Oh, opens the window, then Evan goes down the Torito side and blows the game open. And you know what, he, he had a heads up play. He knows he's limited on time. He took the gamble, he ran. I mean, he was behind the guy when he shot him, then hit the buzzer. I mean, you know what? Hey, two minutes, here we go, right? Let's, let's make a run and see what happens. Well, it's distortions to win right now. And PC Katana's come in, try and take it away from them. Not much time on the clock. Let's see what PC can do. Can they execute? We know Distortion is susceptible to penalties. Well, both teams have been a ton of penalties. <laughs> yeah, a ton of penalties out there, uh, which is not how you want to do it in the finals. Let's check in again with Lauren. Hey guys, as you saw, Colson was limping off the field. He is refusing a medic and saying the only thing he needs is to be back on that field. So he's not going in for this point, but 
He may be in for another point coming up. Back to you. Well, there's not going to be that many points left because there's not a lot of time left. So that's very brave of Coulson. He only needs to get through another minute and 53 seconds and then get all the medical care that he needs. But right now, and look at this though. Yeah, definitely aggressive game plan. This is what you want to see here from PC Quintana as they stack up in that center here at the 50 yard line, go right past it. Yeah, this is exactly what you need to do. No yeah, one's this. picked him up yet. He's still alive. He's at the can. Bodies are dropping for distortion. Still no one's picked him up, and they should be able to get this point unless the safety valve over there for distortion can try to get some kills, and he's yes. about to get blown to bits. Nice. There you go. Yeah, beautiful yeah, move. Yeah, I think that's Mikey McGowan, the old prime player, just did damage right there. I think he shot three, four guys. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, one, <laughs> of, the, one of the better moves that we've seen in the divisionals couldn't see who that was, but I, I believe it was it is, Michael it's, McGowan. I think it's Mike McGowan. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was number nine eleven as he went up in there. Yeah. Well, he's, it was, wearing he's wearing the Colson jersey. Okay. Yeah, I was definitely. like, oh my God, it's Colson. I thought, no, <laughs> I thought he, his leg was about to fall off. Yeah, it would. He was running a little faster than him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that was that was a great move. It capitalized on them. They sh I don't. They shot the guy running up the middle finally, f off a of distortion, and they just went right over the top of him. Very solid play. You know, I wanted to do that yesterday, Todd. You just want to let me do it. But, yeah. Dude, <laughs> I don't know what happened. You know, the truck got, the truck I, I, was rolling through the middle of the field. One of the wheels got loose. Yeah, you, you know, know the rim came halfway, off. Halfway, halfway up, I started to get winded and tired. My knee started to hurt, and I was like, "Yeah, I'll just stop here first. It's okay." You know. So. Uh, how are your ankles these days? Because you, you had you had bum ankles <laughs> back when we were playing long yeah. ago. Yeah, ankles and knees are no bueno, man. <laughs> Shane actually said, he, you know, he was taping up his ankles. He's like, you know what? I'm going to let the hogs fly this way. I'm taking the tape off, and I'm just going for it. You know? I, it well, the it's field was great. It's restricting my speed it, it, is did, what he you know, said. Did you see the lightning speed out there? I mean, oh, I'm oh I saw it. Wow. I saw it. Well, yeah. in Shane's last point, he ran up, shot a guy on the break, and then, you know, bunkered a guy in the wall. So, you know, good way to go out there at the end of the yeah. last point. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> right? If you're going to play the last point, that's the way to do it. Absolutely, you know. So, yeah, it, it was fun. It was really fun. The, the wall's crazy. And I, you know what, I never mind getting shot because I always seem to find a way to get shot. So up there, it's, it's, <laughs> it makes it go a lot quicker. I can get back to water and, you know, <laughs> I can watch from the sidelines and take a breath. 30 seconds. And yell at Todd and tell him to do something different. <laughs> he said, shut up, kid. Get out of here. We've tried just about everything, Shane. I don't know what we should do next. <laughs> was it kind of tough to get game plans for you guys, like solidified with like you and Billy and having the mic on the team and like the veterans all trying to combine to make the plans for the Ironman? Well, no, no, not really. Not really. No, no. Billy. You know, Billy uh, lives out here in Florida, so obviously he's not at our practices. But just being Billy Wang and how smart he is and how long he's been around paintball, of course. You know, we were able to talk on the sidelines and you know converse about what he's seeing, what I'm seeing, what we're trying, you know. There are many times where he was like, we should do this, and I'm like, we just did that. <laughs> we couldn't get it done. You know? It didn't work out so it, well. It like, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm with you, Billy. Uh, we already tried that. So PC Katana now just seconds. down by two points with about 57 seconds to go here. They have the center 50. But they lost two guys off the break. They lost their wide snake guy again. They do have the center 50, though. Let's see if we can have another game. Oh, they lose their body here in the snake. He was trying to push into Snake One. He got shot on the dive, and there's still a bunch of bodies. Well, Distortion does lose yeah, one. Barga dies again out of that back center. So he comes walking off with a giant goggle hit. I don't think the wall player knows the Snake's hot. Oh, yeah, he yeah. doesn't, and looks like he gets torched from Snake Two. But Distortion gonna get pulled out of that Dorito side can. There's another PC Katana player coming off on D or out of D1, and I think that is gonna do it for PC Katana. I don't see any more bodies left alive on the field for them. Distortion still with two bodies left alive. It's like three bodies actually. And they should be able to seal the win here as Katana down by two. At least they went into the breach and they pushed the way you wanna see from a team that may potentially move up to the Pro Division next year. So a big congratulations to Distortion as they are our semi-pro World Cup winners. Yeah, there's Scotty Graham, <coughs> excuse me, in the center of the field right there for uh, Distortion. Second World Cup in a row. He won with Image last year uh, as not we a, watched not that. Not a bad record. No, yeah. that, that's a... Hey, I'd like to have that, you know, two in play a row, two man. different teams, win the World Cup. You know, Dis Distortion was great off the break, and once they got rid of the penalties, they... You know, they capitalized on their opportunities. You know, they, they deserved to win. They played they played really solid and 
Wow, yeah. congratulations. Didn't let those penalties affect them. Came right back, put up a bunch of points, and you know, beat a really good team in PC Katana. Those are the champs. They're yeah. semi-pro champs. Yeah, it's, you know? I mean, not only winning World Cup is going to feel about as good as things can possibly feel, but to win this, to, to to win it against the series champs, that's an even better victory. So we are just another step closer to the game we're all waiting for with Edmonton Impact and Moscow Russian Legion, who are going to be playing in the pro final. Let's see who's going to win this year's World Cup. Uh, Shane, who are you picking in that game? Impact. No hesitation. <laughs> I, I just, you know, the Russians are playing phenomenal this weekend. I really feel that Impact's at another level right now. Their, their ones are capitalizing on everything, and they're just murdering guys off the break. Yeah, with no hesitation. <sighs> yeah. No hesitation whatsoever. God, it makes me mad. As soon as, it, <laughs> soon as the window's open, they're already halfway yeah. through. Well, yeah. when you look at the kill count that was put up by the front players, the Impact's running with a starting five. And the, the amount of kills that Keith Brown, Nick Ball, and then Goldman were getting when they finally switched Goldman over to the D side, I thought that was a great coaching move, especially with his bum shoulder. Uh, that's, those guys have just been dominating out there. And when you look at how well Impact has done this year, I, I don't know if you can make an argument, even when Dynasty was in its heyday. Now, I know Dynasty, from a legacy's perspective, from a legacy's perspective, with the 56 wins they've had, I mean, you really, they're still the best team ever. But right now, Impact is making a solid argument for that. If you look at, you know, last year, they were series champs. They come in into this year, in the nine professional events we've had between Millennium here and the NXL, they've only not made the finals one event. And that event, they took fourth. And they did not have Justin Cornell or Justin Rabikoff at that event. All the other events, they've been in the finals, and they've won two of them over here. They could potentially win three. And I think they won two over in the Millennium Series as well. So four wins and eight finals appearances. Yeah, what a great I season. actually made a mistake um, earlier. Last year wasn't the year they won both the series titles in uh, Millennium and NXL. It was the year before that they won. That, they were the first team uh, the year before to win both the Millennium and the NXL. Last year, uh, they won the NXL, but not the Millennium. Not the and then this year, Millennium and NXL. Wow. Just five it, series titles in three years. That's what I more, mean, what what a more run. Can, what more can you say? I mean, the numbers speak for themselves, and what a run. So before we move on, I, um, I think we're going to have the, uh, the five-man games and those uh, award those championships before we get to the final match. But before we take a short break, let's check in with Lauren Kelly and the winners from the semi-pro game. Hey guys, I have Drew Guppy from Distortion. Congratulations on that win. I know you want to be Thank out you. there celebrating, but definitely, it was really emotional and intense on the sidelines. A little bit more than just for even World Cup. Was there a rivalry there between Distortion and Katana? Yeah, we've had our rough goes with Katana. They knocked us out of uh, Sunday, the last two events. So, uh, you know, we really wanted to beat them. It was great that we paired up with them for the first place win. So. It's well, congratulations good. on that first place thank win. You. Is there anyone you want to thank for supporting you throughout this entire 2016 season? Definitely. We have lots of sponsors. Uh, GI Sports, Planet Eclipse, Empire Paintball, Vaughn Paintball, XL Paintball, uh, Rise Custom Products, Badlands Paintball. <laughs> Let me see if I'm missing anyone. Pineapple Productions, uh, Locker Magazine, and uh, lastly, our buddy Nigel from 88 Films has been here filming us all weekend. So we got a really cool video that's going to come out. And it's great that we topped it off with a win. All right. I know you want to be out there on the field. So I'm going to let you go. But congratulations. You, you guys are the World Cup champs. Ooh. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you. <laughs> hey, guys. I am here with Logan Landry from Katana. You guys got second place. I know it's not the win that you guys wanted, but you're also the series champ. So how are you feeling right now? Uh, we're feeling good. We would have liked to have got the win at this one and the one in Nashville, but we're just glad to be able to come into a league and compete as a new team. We came up from D2. It's our first season of semi-pro, brand new batch of guys. Uh, great teammates, great organization. We're looking to expand and build for the next season. So They're all trying to mess with him yeah, over here, him, yeah. so don't give him a hard time. That's hard to do. Yeah, I mean, you guys played super hard. You had a lot of penalties in the beginning. You were starting to come back. Um, ultimately, is there any rivalry between you and Distortion? You think that was a little payback from their end? Yeah, we've we've knocked them out of a few tournaments. I think we beat them five times this season, four or five times, sent them home from two tournaments. So it's definitely definitely fun, fun to play. Plus, we know a few guys over there, so it's always good to beat people you know. Well, I have to ask you. Yes. You guys are the series champs. Yes. Everyone wants to know, are you going to bump up to uh, the pro bracket? No comment. Oh, come on. No you got to give me anything. Are you guys talking about it? No comment. None at all? I mean, we're weighing the options, you know. I'm sure we'll have the opportunity with winning first in the series, but, you know, that's something we'll bounce around and 
get back to you at a later time. So. Okay, so you'll let me know. Yes, for All sure. All right, I guess we'll accept that for now. These guys, they're hard to break. Is there anyone you want to thank for supporting uh, you this season? Yeah, event? shout out to Empire and GI for hooking us up all season. Shout out to Brad McCurley for getting us everything we needed and helping us compete and win tournaments. All right, well, I guess we'll see if they bump up to the pro bracket in 2017. They are not letting out Thanks. any clues. Thank you so much, and no congrats problem. on a really great Thank season. Thanks. All right, go slow, break. All right.